Hey, Mr. Never a Dull Moment. Well, welcome back. It's another amazing unboxing. And, you know, the last unboxing you saw, you got a chance to see an old school company. I mean, we haven't heard a lot from them, but yet the performance was ridiculous. And that was the Mizuno. If you didn't get a chance to see it, I'll put a link above. So we're going old company, but really happening right now. And that's Nagara. So it just seems like on social media, no matter who you are, if you're a knife collector of some kind, Nagara seems to be the hot commodity. And we're very fortunate to have one here today. Um, I just want to go ahead and give you a close up of this, just the box itself. Get my wife to put her hand on that. It has like a fuzzy peach, just a little, yeah, it's like just a cloth a, kind of a thing to yeah, it. A, hold on. It's a matte, smooth matte box. That's how I would describe it. Yeah, it's almost in a suede -ish kind of a thing, though. It's yeah, but no. I'm just saying there's something there that surprises you, even in the have box. It that funky texture like most boxes in plain. Like I said, there's a, it's a coating, like a nice flat matte paint that's on it. That's, uh, that's pretty cool. Okay, so in always my search, I always try to find knives that are a different shape you know, in different sizes. I try not to have the same knife at the same shape at the same size. And Nagara, just wow. Um, so they did a little something funky with this shape and I'll show it to you in a second. Cause you're gonna be like, are you sure you're calling that the right thing? So we'll go ahead and unbox it. We'll talk about the company history, but let's, and then we'll give you all the money shots. Okay, so this 350 year old company, all right. They are doing, some amazing stuff. You can see it's still packaged with the newspaper to protect it. All right, so we have this winch handle with the buffalo. It's got the, what is it? We got the D shape. What's the octagonal? It's the octagonal, the traditional. All right, so it's interesting about this, this shape that we're gonna show you. I'm going to call it something and you're going to say you're wrong. <laughs> this is a Nakiri. You're saying to yourself, it's a bunka. Mm -hmm. It's taller than a traditional bunka. But every single website that sells this knife, including other Nagaras with the Tashimi finish instead of the Damascus, this is their K-tip Kuritsuke I mean, excuse me, Nakiri. Um, I actually put a picture on social media and I'll definitely, you know, throw it over this right here so you can see. It's taller, like a Nakiri. Definitely not as tall as some of the Nakiris. I have a picture on social media of it next to the Dinka. Um, so it's like a very tall bunka. So this particular pattern, this Damascus pattern that they're known for, Get, let me let me lay it down so my wife can get you. Um, this is called their Onman pattern, and they're just known for it. People really look after it. It translates into dark figure, and I think when you see it, I know my wife's probably getting a shadow. I don't know if she's no, it's really okay. Cool. It's just so it has an ominous kind of like the 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 painting scream or no starry night no, scream. scream. I mean, it, it just has that that kind of a thing. So Nagara. You know, it's about a 350 year old company from like Hirosaka and which was a castle town and um, Sugaru region of Mount Awaki. It was an iron producing place. And from like 1794 to 1192, uh, they were like getting artifacts from iron and they were making just everything. They were making tools. They were making weapons. And so the Hirosaka region, you know, was just really known for all their ironworks. And as a matter of fact, Kama uh, Kajimachi, which literally means blacksmith town, um, is in this region. And, and it's, it was basically just a town of blacksmiths. You know, and so here they are, like 350 years later, all of these blacksmiths in that region are still doing it. So Nagara has been in the game for like a long time. My wife's trying to get you that choil shot you guys like. I don't know if I need to hold yeah, it to help her. I'm laughing because it's picking up the cutting board. Instead okay, of let, me, let me see if I can help no, somehow. I think I'm just too far away. Okay. Or too close. He likes the cutting board better. 
Yeah, it wants the cutting board. So bad. Sorry, guys. Okay. Oh, there it goes. Hold the phone. And then let's just go out. Maybe I'm going to turn it right there and see if we can. Yeah, I did that one already. It's just fascinating. You know, so this is SG2, and they really do shine as a company with the powdered stainless steel. Uh, Rockwell Harden is 63 to 64. You normally see a 64 with the SG2. Um, like I said, this is their famous Damascus. It is a stainless clad. Okay, so, and they're, like I said, they're out of Hirosaka, Japan. So people are just falling all over themselves for this company. They're just doing things a little bit different. Their Tashimi looks different. Their Western handles look different. Um, their Magaki looks different. I mean, they have a Tashimi Magaki. How is that even possible? I don't even, I don't even know. I've seen some Tashimi Kuriichi. But just when you look them up, they're just doing stuff different. And they have a line called Troll Killer. Some people are out there getting these monster like mythical animal killer knives and stuff like that. So this is, if you guys know me, the Kurosaki Fujin 170 millimeter um, Bunka is one of my favorite knives. I have tons of videos in it. I've sliced blueberries with it. I've sliced, I've tree topped hair with it and everything. This is that shape that I absolutely enjoy. This is 180 millimeter. Um, we definitely want to show it off. We're going to do an out of the box. I'm not sure if they're known for they're out of the box, you know. Um, I just know they're known for the beauty of the work that they do. Okay, we'll definitely, you know, see what what it, how it comes. Um, we'll go ahead and get this set up real quick. All right, let's get it lit up. All right. Let me get this all lined up properly. Lights, camera, action. So that was as, you know, I mean, just letting it rest. That's a sub 200, 174. Yeah. So just to get a little cleaner, because you saw the blade like rest on it. I'm really trying to show you that I'm not pressing. I mean, that's phenomenal. Sub 200. Say, yeah. So 209 on that. So do we'll take it. I think, uh, I think we saw it incredible um, things being done with 218. So we'll do the averages on that. Again, phenomenal. Um, I know we cut up a lot of the same stuff on the show. We're definitely, you know, part of it is to give you that standard of, of uh, comparing other things. One of the things that we enjoy is the silence of paper. <laughs> um, you know, we have just noticed that the sharper it is, the less you hear it. Now, if you saw the Mizuno, and if you didn't, you need to go like that. If you saw the Mizuno, it was it was just epic. Um, again, this knife is just absolutely gorgeous. So we're listening, and look, it's it's floating. It's catching it. There's a little splinter came off. So there's no. I'm not like sternly doing it. So a little push. Let's do a little push. Let's do a little car. I don't know if we can do a little carve. Uh, but we got some curvature. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's just, you know, it's just always fun. Obviously, I mean, this thing, let's just go and get a little close up on the back of this. It doesn't really look like a distal taper. I mean, technically it does taper a little bit down, but it's pretty even on the thickness of the spine. Just... Mad at me. You're always definitely interested in, in what's the release on something that's a little taller. Yeah, it the Mizuno. The I mean, it's not, you know. Yeah, it doesn't really look like it's tapered much. So 
Sorry, guys. We're trying it. We're trying our best. Here we go. I just had to get the right line. Like, I guess there's a, there is some taper. Just a little bit of a taper. Yeah, you can see right there. Okay, so we're going to, uh, we got a tomato out this time. Um, I always, the one thing I love about tomatoes is when there's like no juice on the cutting board. Okay, so. So I don't know if it's at 209. If it's, it's not tomato sharp out of the box. How many people are tomatoes and paper? Okay, so how about this? What? I'm just comparing oh, to see if it's possible. Here we go. Just to see, just to see if it's possible. Oh crap. You're Did you hear the shing? With your sword unsheathing. So, so we see it is possible, even though the tomato is like slipping, slipping, sliding. You know, oh. We did no. get a we did get a tomato cut, and you know so it's hard. It's difficult. These some, not all tomatoes do it well. So, yeah. out of the box, two eighteen, two oh nine, you know, area. It's not necessarily paper. Um, if you've been watching this show, you put your own edge on it. I'm sorry. Like the beauty of this knife is the beauty of this knife. So with the SG2, you notice I'm not like running. I'm more running on the Swedish steel over here. The SG2 is actually going to be really stainless and kind of non-reactive. I mean, it is stainless. So you'll see me more over here with the Swedish steel kind of wiping it out. It is a stainless as well, but I, I would rather run towards this one then run towards over here. So the nice thing about this um, Damascus, it's beautiful to look at. It's tall enough to kind of get in there. The K-tip is really going to be for like your shallots, your garlic, kind of get in there like super nice. I am such a big fan of the K-tips, any of the Kritsu K kind of adjustment. It's such a masculine kind of a thing. Um, can't wait to actually, I'll end up putting my own, you know what, sometimes out of the box, like just a little bit of leather, a little bit of gunny juice on the strop and it's all cleaned up. Um, wow. You know, really yes, it was, it's in the Kiri. Look it up. I'll put links to like four different sites, 180 millimeter. Awesome. Glad to have it. You know, it's one of the greats. I thought it was an up and comer. Turns out it's been there the whole time. It's snuck back around. It's trending. Love it. Hard to get. Everyone's like, snatch, snatch, snatch. Boom. Um, another great unboxing, though. Something absolutely beautiful. I don't think we have anything like this. I think the, the, my, sh my. the camo, the yellow ranger... That's, yeah. yeah. That's the closest I mean, to me. I mean, yeah, their Damascus is a little bit different. Just absolutely gorgeous. Not a dull moment. Appreciate you guys coming back. We definitely have, uh, I'm so excited. What's gonna happen? Count all your fingers and toes, folks. Uh, we'll see you guys on that episode. Thanks for joining us Friday nights at eight. God bless.